What's happening today, Chris? Today is a special day because if we give this to Emma, look, darling. Wow. Today is Emma's eight month birthday. You're eight months old today, darling, aren't you? Growing up so quickly. You are. And where are we, Chris? We are in the beautiful Gillingham Marina. We've been here for a couple of days and it already feels like home. People are so friendly here, it's unbelievable. So it's really nice to be here, but we are all starving, so we need to eat now. Uh, we've got a nice healthy lunch planned. Salad, tomato, sweet corn, avocado. Yeah, and we're gonna have some bread and cheese spread with that. And then afterwards, you can't have too much health. You know, you have to have a little bit of something naughty as well. So we're gonna have some jam donuts with our coffee and we'll come back to you then. I will tell you everything while we're here and what's our plan. Yeah. Gillingham Marina is actually very close to where we were before, for those of you who don't know this area. So why have we come such a short distance? <laughs> Thinking back to not very long ago, our original plan was <laughs> to make it all the way to the Mediterranean <laughs> this year. And finish where, the boat and yeah, go to the Mediterranean. <laughs> finish the refit, go to the Med, <laughs> by the French canals with Emma as our crew. <laughs> that was naive of us because that plan was basically impossible uh, because Emma obviously, she's slowing us a lot. Also, it's not just Emma that's really slowing us down. Also, <laughs> are you okay there? <laughs> it's not just Emma, it's also making the videos. When we're I'm really doing, enjoying doing that. Yeah, we love making videos. Yeah. We, we're not complaining at all. We absolutely love doing this. But the reality is it really does slow you down. If I'm doing a job on the engine, it would probably be four or five times quicker to just do the job instead of doing the job and thinking about how to record it and how to present it and how to kind of get the information across to you guys as well. So that's another thing that's really slowed us down compared to our previous life. We really love where we were before and we're really loving here as well. The reason why we decided to come into this marina is because we need to leave the boat for a while and there are many advantages here that suits us. Apart from the fact that it's a beautiful marina with all the advantages that you usually expect to find in a marina, um, there are many other stuff. Uh, first of all, there is a marine shop. A changla, yeah. Yeah, so it's very handy when you do a refit. And also they have a boat yard, even if it's up, it's not need that. We don't plan on using it, but yeah. it's nice to know that they're there yeah, if you do need yeah. them. Yeah, and there is a big supermarket just a few steps from here, so it's very handy, also considering that probably we're going to be here for some periods without a car. Yeah. And also there are many other places. There is a beautiful uh, gym slash spa slash swimming pool uh, on site, yeah. so hopefully, maybe. Maybe we get to use it with Emma. Yeah, if we get a chance. Or at least, a chance. you know, people come to visit us. Maybe they can enjoy it. And also there is a beautiful park here close by. Yeah, that's really nice. By the way, just as a demonstration of what our life is like, these donuts and these cold, cold coffees coffee. have been there for about three hours. We haven't had a chance to a more now. eat and drink them yet. <laughs> so... In a little while, we're going to be leaving the boat for quite a long period. Um, da -da, good girl. <laughs> we need to go back to Italy for a while, and then we need to travel to the States because my best friend, Ryan, is getting married to an American girl. So we're going to be traveling over for that wedding. And I'm going to have to go back to work offshore unfortunately, which if I even start to think about that, it breaks my heart because that means being away from Rosella and Emma for an extended period. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We'll come back to the boat when we can and we're going to complete the refit next spring stroke summer so, so. and then we're going to go to France <laughs> and the Mediterranean. Hopefully before Emma's 18. <laughs> <laughs> Should we drink our coffee and eat our donut? Yeah, I think so. I think we really need it. I'm going to eat the donuts first. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Another lovely thing about this marina is that all the way around it there are lots of trees and as a result of that there is bird song constantly. 
which is really nice and relaxing. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Eight months old today. Eight months old today. Eight months old. You've got your face and you're eight months old today. We're now looking at our priority jobs list again. This list was for us to go to France and to spend some time at Anchor, so that's what we needed to do for that. That's not happening now. We are going to be here for a while and we are going to rejig what we're doing. These things still need to be done, but not in this order. And there are other things now that we want to do first. We're also going to try to find a place uh, for the washing machine to stay as it's been around all the boats. Yeah, it's been brilliant, but we've had it in about what one, two, three, four, five different locations or something. Um, we need to find the best place to keep it and have it Outside. permanently installed. Yeah, where it's yeah. not in the way, where it's not getting in the way of Anna sleeping and just somewhere that's convenient for us to both stow it when we're not using it and also use it when we want to. Well, we can hear some church bells over there and uh, Rossella said she feels like she's in Italy hearing that. What happened, Grace? Oh, nothing. <laughs> just um, spilt a couple of bits of granola. Yeah, just a couple. And the funny thing is that you were not even holding Emma at the time. I know, it was nothing to do with Emma, it's just clumsy daddy. <laughs> Wasn't it? Right then, it's time to crack on with the next item on our revised list, which is the taps here. Basically, this boat has three of these taps, one here and one in each of the two heads. And incredibly, they're all still taps as opposed to having a shower on board. So we want showers for different reasons, lots of different reasons. For example, here in the saloon, we bath Emma on the table in the middle of the saloon. <laughs> and at the moment, we use a, a kind of a bilge pump pipe. We stick it on the end of here and then we bring it over there to mm. fill the bath. So it, comfortable. It works, but it's not great. So you may have seen this in a previous video. We ordered these a while ago. We have some pull out showers. So this will function as a, a kind of kitchen tap and then when we want to we can just pull it out, we can fill Emma's bath, we can potentially put some fresh water into the cooling system of the engine and it's just very handy to have. So we're going to be replacing all three of our taps with these showers. I don't think the access here is going to be amazing but let's have a look and find out. That's not too bad actually. I've covered this in a previous video as well, but just in case you didn't see that, I now need to turn off the water pump. And on this boat, like nearly every boat, there is a um, accumulator fitted. So it's not enough to just turn off the water. You also have to depressurize the system. And to do that, you just open the tap. And the other thing to think about is the hot water, depending on 
the height of the hoses that you're working on if they are further down than the boiler you could have very very hot water coming out but in this case I'm not concerned about that because this hose connection is higher than the boiler and if I keep it up high then I shouldn't have any problems with that I'm now about to disconnect these connections but before I do that I'm going to stick a tie wrap on here just to make sure they don't drop down when they're disconnected because as I said before if they do drop down then you will get gravity will just bring out the water and wet our bilges which are incredibly perfectly dry I mean you could put some tissue paper in there leave it there for days bring it out There's a little bit of residual water there, but not much, so I can just catch it in a measuring jug. That's the hot and the cold houses disconnected. And while I'm doing this job in the background, Emma is learning to do something new. Aren't you? Ciao, ciao. You're doing that with your hand, aren't you? Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Good girl. I've worked out which is the cold tap by blowing down here. And I've marked that with some black tape. I'm now looking at the range of travel on the hot cold and I'll centre that so I know which orientation this is going in. Oh dear, it appears we might need a bigger hole. I've just marked out the areas with some pencil that need to be opened out and I've had a look to see how much room I've got with the new base. The ideal way of doing this would be to put in a wood plug into this hole. You could hammer that in and then you could cut it down to size and then you could put in a new hole saw of the correct dimensions but I don't have uh, the tools to do that and I'm not going to waste time so I'm going to use a different technique which is just basically stitch drilling. I'm just going to get a small drill bit, 2 mil, and then I'll drill down lots of times into the shape that I require and I can put the drill bit in at different angles and that will open this out. And before I drill this I'm just going to tape this underneath the hole to catch the dust. I hope this doesn't wake him up. Yes, I know it's ugly, but it's quick and afterwards I can go around this with some sandpaper and just round that out and make it look a little bit prettier. It will be protected, this whole area, by an O-ring, so it shouldn't get wet. It's just a quick way of doing the job. There were O-rings up at the top and here there's a, a square rubber seal. We should seal against this face there, but we will see if it is watertight once I've tightened everything up and turned the pressure back on. These fittings on the other hand are tapered threads, so I will remove the old remnants of PTFE tape on there and I'll put another load of PTFE tape onto the threads before reassembling this. These tap connectors here are half inch and the hose tails that are fitted are three eighths. So they look as though they're gonna fit, but if you try and screw them together, they don't. Fortunately, and this is just a huge stroke of luck, I have some reduced bushes on board to change 3 eighths to half inch, which is quite miraculous. So I can just screw this onto the hose tails and then I can fit the tap connectors to there with more PTFE tape. They're all connected and tightened now. Well, that all looks absolutely perfect. I have wrapped some tissue paper around top and bottom here. Just, I'll leave that in position for about an hour 
and then I'll have a look at that and if it's completely dry, as I hope it will be, then that's all good and we can put this to bed. Well, it's 10 o'clock at night. We haven't even started to prepare our dinner. Our dinner yet. So we're very tired, but we're very happy and we really appreciate what we've got. As being together, Emma, and being this beautiful place. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Just the water in front of us. It's just fantastic. Yeah, so we're going to spend five minutes here in the cockpit with a couple of shandies. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> Chin -chin. and some crisps. And yeah. just all you need is five minutes outside and it recharges your batteries and you're ready for another day. Yeah. Then we can go in and get some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate every one of you who watch our videos. So thank you very, very much. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. And we hope that you continue to watch us in the future. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs>